I want to show you the fastest way to set up a GitHub page to host a static website on GitHub to showcase your portfolio. It might be coming handy in a handful of situations when you have HTML and a tiny little bit of markdown to show. If you have HTML to show, this is a great way. So first you're going to say create a new repository. Okay? And then you're going to say test. Make it public so you don't have to pay. And then done. All you need to do now is go to your terminal, right? Say cd tilde slash downloads. This is on Mac. And make directory test. And then you're going to change directory into the test. So you're in test now. ls to see that nothing is here. Nano create an index.html file. This is going to be the web page, right? I'm going to say open and close HTML. Okay, I'm going to just keep it really simple, okay? Head, um, head title, we're going to see. Unique tech. Um, YouTube and then in the body this is not too important right now we're just trying to demonstrate this is possible you don't have to write all any of this unique tech tutorial how to set up a github page okay and then you're going to control X to exit press yes to save this and that's how it works okay and then hit enter to confirm and now you're going to follow this here. Um, so usually GitHub wants you to have a readme file. That's always helpful. So you're just saying put this text into this MD file. And MD file is a uh, markdown. So this hashtag test is probably a header or some kind of format. I forgot, sorry. Sorry about that. Get in it. So just saying initiate an empty get repository on your local machine, you're going to get add readme.md, so that's done. And we're going to add our index.html file too, okay? And then we're going to say git commit, comment, first commit. Okay, you attach a message to it, and then everything's added. And then you can just copy this, right? You're going to say, okay. I, I just want to say, you know, where am I going to push this to? Once I start pushing remotely, it's going to push to the GitHub repository I just started like one minute ago, okay? And you're going to copy this last command, and everything will be updated to your GitHub. And usually here, if you have never set this up, it's going to ask you how to, you know, um, config and all that stuff. So our push may not have worked. Let me double check. Um, so I'm going to press here. Okay, it has worked. Okay. Um, hmm. Readme.md, you would think there's a way to, to make that better. So what would I going to do? Okay. I'm going to have a space. That might be what's missing. I think so. Okay, then I'm going to say git add... Um, read me again okay and then get uh, commit typo you know you usually wouldn't want to do such a new commit but just demo purposes and then get push um what was it remote origin get push you uh, origin master so basically here we added a remote destination called origin and it just push into the master branch of it, right? So push. Okay, you should be done. And now if I go back to this repository, refresh, see? Uh, so the first time I typed it, I just forgot to create a space, FYI. Okay, and now you go to settings. Okay, you go to settings, and it says you can have a bunch of features on this website, which is absolutely great. Um, GitHub page is not using as Git get our page yet. So you're going to choose a branch. I'm going to choose a master branch. That's where my files are. I'm going to say save. And look, 
GitHub conveniently just launched a new web page for you. And when you click onto this, um, nothing is here, which is funny because, oh, there we go. I, I refreshed and everything showed up, right? So remember going back to the HTML we had, it's literally just this. So you see the title here and here, and you see, you see the, so this is literally just a web page we've created, right? You see the title here and here, and you see the, you know, everything here and here. Excellent. So we got everything.